This is Jennifer Doherty with another Sea Act Curtain Call video newsletter. First, we want to thank all of the volunteers who participated in the Cultural Arts Center Choral and Theater Festival a couple of weeks ago. It was the best and the biggest yet. More than 40 schools from Alabama, Florida, and Georgia competed in choral, show choir, solo, and theater divisions. Congratulations to Dothan High School, which won the overall prize for the top school in theater. And we congratulate Maddie Winburn from Spark Theater Company in Dothan. She won Best Overall Student Score. Sea Act hosted community theaters from Dothan and Mobile and schools from Dothan, Montgomery, and Mariana, Florida. Students were judged on characterization, movement, and body expression, vocal expression, blocking, rhythm, pacing. It was just a very cool thing. This is a growing program, and Sea Act would love for you to join us as a volunteer or a financial supporter next year. You probably already know that Sea Act's Holiday Dinner Theater is completely sold out, but you can still see the show, It's a Wonderful Life. Tickets are available for every night of the performance, December 7th through the 12th, and what you'll do is join the audience just before curtain at 7 p.m. To give you a little taste of the show, I have with me today Mike Doherty and Gwen Neal King, both veterans of the SEAC stage, and they're both starring in It's a Wonderful Life as George and Mary Bailey. So I wanted to get you two together to tell us a little bit about your rehearsal experience. Mike, tell me why this couple is so special. I think George and Mary are a couple that have, that have found each other. I, I, think they, I think they needed to find each other. I think the, uh, uh, the, the love they have for one another is, is, is important because they need it to kind of sustain them through some, through some pretty difficult times. Tough times, yeah. right, exactly. Yeah. Gwen Neal, why did you want to be Mary? Because they wouldn't let me audition for Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love George and Mary? You know, you grew up watching them every year mm -hmm. at this time of the year. And, and this story is such a story of, of hope and of love and of grace. And Mary just embodies all of that in everything that she does. And I mean, who doesn't want to be that person? And tell me a little bit about George. He really comes across as a guy who has given up so many of his dreams. Um, but we really think of It's a Wonderful Life as a, as a happy story. Well, in the end, it is a happy story, and yes, he did. You gave it away. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks. Uh, in the, uh, he did give up some of his dreams, but I, I think he needed to. He needed to for his family, and I think that's where that relationship comes in, that, that he needs to put aside what, he's, what he wants to do, what mm -hmm. he dreams of doing, and, and do what he has to do, do what he needs to do for, for himself and for his family. And, for those that love him. A part of just why he is such a character that we look to and look up to, I think. Any rehearsal stories you have to share? Has it been fun? A lot of laughter? Oh, yeah. You know, anytime <laughs> you are with SEAC people, you have fun. Um, this guy says to me, okay, I'm going to get emotional. And then who's the one that cries? This one. Yeah. There, you know, you run the whole gamut of emotions in this show. But, yeah, it is. It's happy. At the end, you'll be happy. You'll leave with a smile. Well, we're looking forward to it. Tickets are on sale right now at SEAC.com, so go ahead and purchase those. Like and share this video so that we can let everybody know about what SEAC is doing right now, and we appreciate you watching. Thanks.